Hello everyone and welcome to Peculiar Occurrences. I am your host, Lilith Nova. And I don't quite know how to start this one off, so let's just get into it, shall we? Roll the intro. Guys? Guys? Roll the... Roll the intro. Hey! Roll the intro! <laughs> the date was February 19th, 1994. Gloria Ramirez, a housewife, in the late stages of cervical cancer, was rushed to the ER of Riverside General Hospital. She arrived in an extreme state of confusion. Doctors immediately started to medicate Ramirez, but nothing seemed to work. Her heart was failing fast. Staff tried to restart it with a defibrillator. It was then that a few of the nurses noticed that her body was covered in an oily shine. There was also a fruity or garlic odor, depending on which nurse was asked, coming from her mouth, with the odor of ammonia fumes rising off of her body. Susan Kane, a registered nurse, tried to draw blood from Ms. Ramirez when she noticed the smell of ammonia coming from the tube of blood that she had taken. She passed this blood off to Julie Gorneski, who noticed small particles floating around in the blood. Shortly after that, Susan Kane fainted and was taken out of the room, while Julie started to grow nauseous. She left the room to sit down, and while co-workers were checking on Susan, Julie fainted as well. Meanwhile, back in Ramirez's room, another co-worker named Welch fainted. At this point, the decision was made to evacuate all staff and even patients from the ER out into the parking lot, leaving only a small skeleton crew. The members sent out into the parking lot were not doing so well. Julie had started to experience uncontrollable convulsing and apnea. Welch could not control her limbs and Kane complained of a burning face. Sally Balderez, a nurse that had went back in to help isolate Ramirez, started to feel her skin burn as well. The skeleton crew continued to work on Ms. Ramirez until 8.45. 45 minutes of CPR and defibrillation could not revive Ms. Ramirez, and she was pronounced dead of kidney failure. At 37, Emergency room staff members, 23 of them, experienced at least one symptom. High-risk victims had worked within two feet of Ramirez or handled her IV. And for some reason, women were more likely to experience these effects than the men were. And all blood that was tested after the exposure somehow came back normal. The health department sent in two scientists to try to get to the bottom of this. The closest viable answer that the scientists were able to come up with was that they thought that Ms. Ramirez had been using something called dimethylsulfoxide, otherwise known as DMSO, DIMSO, as a home remedy for pain. Mostly based on the garlic-like taste and the fact that it was greasy, like Ramirez's skin. They think that Dimzo built up in her system in her urinary tract due to her failing kidneys. Although many do not accept this answer, and it does not all explain what happened to the hospital staff. It only explains why and how Miss Ramirez herself passed away. To this day, this is still an unsolved mystery. What do you think happened to the hospital staff? And have you ever heard of this story? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this kind of material, you want me to keep making videos like this, give me a thumbs up as well. 
If you're new here, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel and to hit that little bell button so you'll know when I upload. Thank you for tuning in to Peculiar Occurrences. I'll see you next time. Are you listening? Damn. Uh.